Hey shooters, welcome back to the Shooters Resource Channel. Today we're going to be looking at mirror safety, level 4 plates. Now mirror was nice enough to send two plates out to the channel for testing. We're going to put them to the trials today, but before we do, go ahead and take a second. Hit that like and subscribe button, support the channel. Now right here I've got a vest. This has a mirror safety level 4 plate as well as a couple fully loaded AR-15 magazines. These are rated for 30-06 black tip armor piercing rounds and I just so happen to have a few in my possession. So we're going to put this plate to the test so we'll see how it handles the 30-06 black tip as well as just a traditional 30-06 round, a 5.56 green tip and a 762 by 39 out of my favorite AK. Alright shooters, first up we've got Granddad's rifle we're going to be shooting the 30 out 6 black tip. Let's we'll see how it does. All right, looks like we got a good hit. Uh, we're right here in the center. So this is the actual hole. You can see it looks pretty good, pretty shot up. All right, next up we're going to take the 30-06 and we're going to run a 165 grain ballistic tip right into one of those AR mags that I've got on the pouch. These are fully loaded Stenag type mags with 62 grain 5.56 rounds. All right, shooters, that was our second 30-06 round, and I think we learned something there. Uh, I wanted to, I had thought about this a while back. I've seen a lot of tests on body armor. I haven't seen any where they've actually shot through mags. And I don't know about you, most of the time when I set a plate carrier up, I'm actually carrying mags here as well, and that's covering the majority of the surface. So I just wanted to see what would happen, and I think we got to see a little, some unexpected fireworks there. Uh, so, you know, let's see what type of damage that it actually did. So we shot through this mag right here, and you can see that mag is just busted up. And it looks like it uh, it busted through pretty good. That's like a piece of brass right there, just kind of lodged in there, which is amazing. All right, next up, shooters, we're going to be rocking the BCM. This is their Recce 14 great rifle i've got a full review on it you can check it out link in the description and then we're going to also try to hit it with two rounds of 762 by 39 fmj's 122 grain out of the zestava ak all right first up two shots with the bcm so here's where that round hit and it looks like it didn't go through we're going to go ahead and shoot it a few more times. All right, let's see how the Kalishnikov does. Yeah, good to go. All right, that did some damage right there. And I'm going to go for... One more AK round. I think this area right here can still take another shot. Let's try it. All right. Let's see what we did. All right, folks, we hit this thing several times with the 30-06, uh, 5.56, and 762 by 39. Let's see what the plate itself looks like now that we've hit it a few times. Oh yeah, good stuff. So it looks like none of the rounds actually made it through. Now we've got a pretty lumpy uh, plate here, but it did a great job. Uh, you can see that that was the last AK round. What a great looking plate there, huh? Very impressive. So uh, if you're wondering, can this thing take multi hits? I uh, definitely can. All right, let's look how my punching bag's doing. Oh, unscathed. So live to fight another day. 
The carrier that I was wearing today is my Cry JPC. And of course, I've got mirror plates inside, both front and back. I love this uh, plate carrier. You can get them for about 200 bucks. This is just the JPC one, but definitely well worth the money. Really rugged and uh, reliable plate carrier there. So here are my mirror plates. Got one on the back as well. And again, I just really like these plates. They're, they're definitely worth it. The Mirror Tactical Level 4 is a combination of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene and ceramic. It's got a back panel that's probably about a quarter inch thick of poly, and then the rest is ceramic. That helps them get the weight down to an extremely light 5.9 pounds. It's a 10 by 12 inch plate. It's extremely thin at 0.9 inches thick, which is pretty good for a ceramic plate. It's a single curve shooter's cut. And again, at 5.9 pounds, it's much lighter than this level three AR500 steel plate and it's got a higher protection level than the 3 plus so this plate is only rated for up to AR15 green tips or 308 ball it is not rated for the 30-06 black tips which are armor piercing but again this is coming in somewhere around seven and something pounds so I'm saving over a pound for every plate I'm getting more coverage than what you get with this swimmers cut steel plate Plus, you don't have to worry about all of the spalling coming off of the rounds when you get hit. If you've ever shot steel, you know that you get a lot of spalling shot off in all directions every time you get an impact. And there's, even though a lot of the AR500 manufacturers offer coatings to try to prevent that, I still trust the ceramic much better. And how does Mirror's Level 4 plate compare to other ceramic options on the market? Well, simply put, it's one of the lightest and thinnest options available and backed by Mira's 10-year warranty, where when I look at other plates, most of them are only five. All right, shooters, I was thoroughly impressed. It took three 5.56 five, rounds, three AK rounds, and two 30-06 rounds, with one of those being an armor-piercing round. And it stopped all of the bullets. Even this one that landed right here next to the edge, which is really impressive. And then you can see here, this was our 30-06 ballistic tip. So here was uh, one of these. This is one of my reloads. These swings were moving right at about 2,700 feet per second and got a solid hit there right at about 50 yards away. So very impressive. For the 30-06 black tip, this is a military surplus round. It is armor piercing, and we hit a dead center hit right here. Completely stopped the round, and this is what your steel plates are not rated for. This will blast through one of your steel plates. So level four really steps it up. You look at the five, five, six rounds, no problem in stopping any of them. Same with this AK round here. Just overall crazy impressed. Now let's look at this actual mag that we had. So this was the mag that we hit. This thing was smoking. It was pretty crazy uh, to see that. I was very curious as to what would happen when you shot loaded rounds, uh, you know, loaded 5.56 five, rounds. And sure enough, that powder caught, and we've seen some smoke come from it. Let's see what the, what the actual magazine looks like. Yeah, so this thing got busted up pretty bad. All right, there we go. So you see there, busted that thing straight up. There's our, our mag, there's our rounds right there on the top. Here come some of the rounds out of there. So most of them are actually gonna be salvageable, but the, the mag itself is just completely shot up. see if we can figure out how many rounds were actually damaged but yeah you can see that 30-06 round punch through right there just completely blew out the side 
There's our plastic uh, follower right inside there. Very interesting. All right. So that's all there is to see there on the magazine. There's some shrapnel right there. Uh, looks like we had on the inside of this mag right here. We got a, a jacket of a bullet. It's hanging out there. A lot of charred cloth. But this uh, mag holder looks like it'd still be usable. Got you see where some shrapnel kind of came out on the sides. Also cut through the bottom. So some holes in this, but uh, good good size hole in the back as we observed. One of your straps is damaged. I had to cut it off to get the, the mag out. Uh, and it looks like looks like over here too we've got one of the damaged uh, pieces of brass. So it looks like flying brass would be the biggest uh, the biggest risk there. Let's see that thing is lodged in there. Jeez. See if we can get it out. Yeah, there you go. So somehow that piece of brass shot through here and lodged itself in there. Looks like there's some more shrapnel in here. Let's see. Uh, let's open it up. Yep, there's another piece of a bullet. Pretty cool. And there's the base of a piece of brass. Let's see what else dumps out of there. And there's another base. Some more shrapnel. So I'm just glad that the whole plate carrier didn't catch fire. All right. I think that's all the shrapnel. I could probably cut this other side off and still use it. Probably won't, though. I'll toss all this. So there you have it, Mirror Tactical Level 4 Plate. A great value, higher threat level of protection, plus these are some of the lightest Level 4 ceramic plates that I've found on the market. So when you've got price, durability, and lightweight, you can't go wrong. It makes for a hard to beat combination in the market. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and take a second, hit that like and subscribe button, check out Mirror Safety, and I've got an affiliate link in the description. So if you use that link, some of those sales will go back to support the channel at no additional cost to you. And as always, thank you all and God bless.